subjective truth which is uh, sometimes mistaken for relative truth is a philosophical concept normally attributed to danish philosopher soren uh Kier- Kierkegaard, you know, that's one of the hardest names to pronounce, Kierkegaard, okay, around uh, 1813 to 1855. Now, Kierkegaard believed that uh, religious truth is a personal and not impersonal thing. That is uh, something we are. Not something that we have, but something that we are. Kierkegaard acknowledged objective truth as being something outward, while believing that subjective truth is something inward. And the idea is that while objective truths are important, subjective truth can actually be more crucial to a person because it involves how a person relates and accepts those um, uh, objective truths. Kierkegaard believed that spiritual truth cannot be just acknowledged. It must be appropriated. It is not just correspondence but internal commitment and religious truth is found in a subjective encounter with god and acceptance of his truth by one's will not only by an objective understanding with the mind in other words a person subjects himself inwardly to truth and a care guard uh he had some subjective truth whereby he believed that this truth is especially important in today's uh, post-truth culture, which believes that uh, objective facts are less important in shaping public opinion than appeals to emotion and personal beliefs. For many today, the feelings and their preferences uh, matter more than facts and truth, and their inward beliefs override the outward facts which they refuse to submit to and post-truth culture will readily acknowledge an objective fact as being true, but because of the conflict it has with personal preferences or political agendas, the objective fact is discounted in some way. Some will ignore the facts, misinterpret the truth, or even spread lies about it in order to move their personal agenda forward. And this approach conflicts with Kierkegaard's subjective truth concept, which by no means dismisses objective reality in favor of a person's preferences and agenda. And that said, one of Kierkegaard's uh, flaws in his framework is that uh, is the thought that uh, there can be a gulf between objective and subjective truth. He felt that a person's faith can leave him in a state of um, objective uncertainty. And because of that, faith requires a leap from disbelief to belief. However, a correct understanding of the distinction between faith, that something is true and faith in something that is required Leap is not just a a jump in the dark, but rather a step into the light. And the objective or outward evidences for God deliver the means needed to believe that God exists, which then leads to subjective or inward truths that one submits in a trusting fashion. And both objective and subjective truths are biblical and uh, are spelled out in the book of Hebrews. What does the Bible say in Hebrews 11 verse 6? It says, And without faith it is impossible to please him, for he who comes to God must believe that he is. He is, okay? You see, that is faith that, which is basically objective, and that he is a rewarder of those who seek him. Faith in subjective. (laughs) Did you get the point here? That's exactly what uh, the whole concept of subjective truth is all about about okay and that's uh, the end of our today's bible study lesson hope it was a blessing to you hope you did learn something and remember you can always download this podcast to listen later offline or to share to your friends and family and please don't forget to favorite our podcast and subscribe to our channel so that you can always be notified whenever we post a new bible study question and if you like to get saved or you need a step-by-step bible Uh, you know bible verses on the order of salvation so that you can well preach to your friends or family or maybe you just feel led to support our ministry or you know things like that kindly visit our website keithmuwaki.com 
for more details and breakdown. Otherwise, I hope to see you soon in the next one.